Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome back to tutorial number 25. And in this tutorial, I am going to show you guys how to use the substring replace function to replace part of a string, okay? Uh, so in other words, let's say the user submitted a string and you wanted to check that uh, they didn't type any curse words or something in that string, okay? Um, well, you could then replace those curse words using the substring replace function and I have already taught you guys the str pause function which you could use to then look for a, uh, a curse word okay so I'm gonna start off with uh, just creating a variable called apples and I don't actually want to swear in this tutorial believe it or not so I'm just gonna type uh, fudge you noob and I'm sure you guys get the point okay so we will uh, censor out this word fudge for this tutorial and um, now I'm gonna show you guys how to use the substring replace function okay so of course you type in the function name which is substring replace and then we've got our parentheses okay but this function actually takes four different arguments, okay? Um, the first one is the string that you want to replace part of, okay? Which string do you actually want to um, replace? So we've got the string here, which is stored in the variable apples. Uh, so let's go ahead and just put that in there, okay? Then the next argument is what do you want to replace the string with or what part of that string you want to replace with okay so we want to replace this word fudge with um, just asterisk symbols because we're going to pretend that fudge is a swear word or a curse word okay and uh, the next two parameters are where do you want to start replacing uh, text from and where do you want to end or how long do you want to replace for so because fudge is right at the beginning of our string we are gonna start at zero okay but fudge is five characters long so one two three four five okay so we're gonna put in the number five over here and now we should replace the first five characters of our sentence or of our string with um, these asterisks okay uh, but I'm actually gonna store the result of this in a new variable so um, let's create a variable here just called new apples conveniently named because it's the apples and the new apples and then we'll just echo out um, new apples just like this save and now when we go over to Firefox and click refresh you can see instead of having fudge you noob printed out we've got these asterisks and then you noob so how cool is that um, but if we go back here and we make the string just a little bit longer let's just say um, fudge this and fudge that you know when someone's just swearing and uh, raging in game or something <laughs> okay um, now we know that if we're using this function like this um, we are only going to replace the first instance of fudge because the first instance of fudge starts at f zero and continues along five characters okay so uh, I didn't save that we need to go back and save that okay now when I click refresh here we still have the next two instances of fudge printed out okay so we could go and use a loop uh, so we could go and look for the word fudge and loop through this string a couple times which I have already showed you guys how to do in the previous tutorials but that actually seems like quite a lot of work and uh, shouldn't there already be a function that um, could just look for all the words and replace them well that already exists okay and that function is called str underscore 
replace and that is short for string replace okay um, but that takes a f arguments in or yeah in a different fashion okay so the string replace function basically takes what word do you want to look for which uh, we want to look for fudge okay then what do you want to replace that word with and we'll go ahead and put in four asterisks okay and then what string would you like to look in for this word fudge and replace that word okay so the word the string that we're gonna look in is apples which uh, of course is the string over here so now when we save this okay we should get new apples uh, printed on the screen which of course new apples takes this old string and then replaces all instances of the word fudge I uh, yeah there we go okay all instances of the word fudge with asterisks so now we have uh, fudge you noob uh, but all the fudges have been um, censored out with asterisks so that's pretty cool although it is worth noting that this is not case sensitive so if I go back here and I or oh, it is case sensitive sorry so if I go back here and I um, make this a capital F for the second fudge when I click refresh this has now been printed out again so we need to find out a way to make this not case sensitive or at least make searching not case sensitive so that is what I am going to show you guys in the next tutorial so don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share the video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.